Some folks are enjoying the beautiful weather at a Venezuelan festival happening over in the West Bottoms. They're celebrating Venezuelan Independence Day, which was yesterday, July 5th. Fox Wars Jacob Sloan joins us live from the festival. And Jacob, has there been a big crowd out there on this Saturday? I'll tell you what, they've been rocking all night. And this band is absolutely incredible. Check it out. Son Venezuela from right here in the Kansas City area. They've been awesome. Now, folks have been telling us the population of Venezuelans in the United States has grown over the past few years. This festival is a good way to keep those traditions alive, but it's a reminder of what's happening in their home country. We are here to celebrate a beautiful country, beautiful people. There's food, music, and dancing, all celebrating Venezuela. First generation American, uh, but still like uh, embracing the culture and, and, and representing Venezuela abroad uh, through their dance. That, that, that's a, a beautiful thing. July 5th is Venezuelan Independence Day, and the Venezuelan community is bringing back some of their traditions. We're gonna be dancing a traditional dance that uh, this group started 10 years ago. We're all from Venezuela. It's fun for Maria to get to share what Venezuela is all about. I mean, it's really fun. We just get to show other people our culture. The crowd tonight packs Lemonade Park in the West Bottoms. The community is being growing and you know why. Many people told us that political turmoil and economic struggles are causing more Venezuelans to flee their homes. That has forced an exodus like we haven't seen in the region ever. Uh, unfortunately, Venezuela is passing for a really difficult time right now. We have more than 8 million people fleeing from our country. Tatiana Padron says events like this one always remind her of the growing population. So that tell you how many people we have here and we are making a community and we're trying to do the best. Despite what's happening in Venezuela, she says that the culture and traditions are living on. Oh, and I want to invite everybody here in the United States to come here, here in Kansas, come to this places and enjoy the culture, the food, the music. It's really fun. Yes, it is really fun. I'll tell you firsthand. We've got our Venezuelan flag beads on and been enjoying it all night, Shannon. It's going on for another hour or so. Don't worry, they said if you couldn't make it this year, they're planning to be an even bigger festival next year. Mark it down in the calendar. Jacob Sloan live tonight. Jacob, thank you.